What's up guys, my name is Evan Turner. Today we're going to be looking at all of the 533 ripsticks and finding out which one is best for you. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna go in a bit of a chronological order on the order in which we released them. So the first ones we released are the M4 standards. So you, uh, each gimbal will have a different uh, thread size. So maybe uh, something like the game uh, pad style remotes will have M3. The radio masters that uh, I use and some of the other pilots use, use M4. These are the new AG-01 gimbals, the 533 edition. Um, and that's just the radio that I use for all of my five inch flying uh, and things like that at the time. So um, here is what this first one looks like. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, the first one we came out with and the idea behind this one is that it would be a way for you to fly without hurting your thumbs. Now, um, as you can see, um, my thumbs are, it's going to be pretty hard to see, but my thumbs are pretty messed up. Uh, and it's probably not going to focus on that or anything like that, but I have not been using these recently. But the idea is that they use very small little grips and you'd be able to get good grip without damaging your thumb. So I'll put these on. And by no means are any of these perfect. I'm not saying any of these are the ones that are the best, but it's all about personal preference. So you can watch this video, look at them, kind of hear my thoughts and what I think about each one, and then you can use that to pick your favorite. So this is the standard. They look like this. And some people like them for thumbing. A complaint that some people have about them for thumbing is that there is no spikes on the top. So maybe they can't get very good grip, but when you're cornering or going in any direction, you will have those grips there. And the nice thing is, you can fly for literally days on end and your thumb will be perfectly fine, which for someone who's trying to get good really fast or wants to fly a lot and doesn't want their thumbs all jammed up like mine, then this is definitely the way to go. Some may say they're not the grippiest in the world for that reason, but they're comfortable, they're nice to grab, and you can't go wrong with the standard ones, in my opinion, whatsoever. So I ran these for a long time. This is what I used to win the, uh, I guess, this year's 2021 Multi-GP Championships. They have never drawn me, done me wrong. And yeah, this is the M4 standard. Next up, we have the Thummer version. So uh, it, a bit of it is in the name. Um, these are for Thummers. And um, you know, some people are pinchers or hybrids or Thummers, whatever it may be. Everybody has their personal preference. And we had some people reach out to us about what they wanted and they uh, were they used thumbs to fly. So these are more of like a, um, I guess, flat top type stick in. I'm gonna screw these all the way down. It's more of a flat top, as you can see here. But, so they're not gonna be very good for pinching. Like I pinch or do a hybrid and it's, it's not the best uh, just because it has this really sharp edge at the end and it's really hard to grab. But for thumbing, people really like them. They have a nice flat top for you to put your entire thumb on. They have some grips that are, that are not too sharp, not too big, but not too small. So you still get very good grip. It's all corners, no problem. And for a thumber, this may be your way to go. Um, I have heard some thumbers um, think that there are other, these other options that are better, maybe the MCKs or some even like the hyper ones, but this was our best shot at the thumber versions. If you, like a, if you like to put your thumb nice and flat on the top of the stick and have that gamer-like feel, I would say this is the most similar to like an Xbox controller or something like that, then the thumber is probably your way to go, but you can look at the other ones that I'm about to show you and we will decide from there. Right, these next two were designed specifically for some of the top pilots in the world. These are the Hyper Edition. And what Hyper wanted is he really liked the, the standard uh, version that we offered, the very first one. But he said he wanted a little bit bigger spikes because, you know, as I said, it's nice because you're not going to hurt your thumbs or anything. But some may say that they're not the, the grippiest in the entire world. So what he wanted is he said, I want a, a version very similar, but with much bigger and sharper spikes giving you that better grip and you will not have to worry about your thumb slipping off these because you have something to grip on. So as you can see, they have a much more, it kind of looks like a, a porcupine or something. I don't know. I don't know what porcupines really look like, but this you can put your, you can thumb on very well because you have those big spikes on top all the way around. You can pinch it really well because those spikes go all the way around to the side. And the only gripe that a lot of people have these, there's two, is that one, they may, uh, for some people, they're maybe too big. Like uh, for if you pinch, maybe it feels like they're too big around um, and you prefer something like the MCKs that I'm about to show you or the standards. Um, and then the other is that maybe they hurt your thumbs. 
uh, my dad. He really likes the Hyper Edition. He is a thumber, but he just said he loves how he's able to grip them so well and never have to worry about his thumb slipping off. And for those who aren't flying 24 seven and just want that good grip, then these are a great alternative, very comfortable. And uh, as long as you're not flying for a long time, you're not gonna have any problems damaging your thumbs. And so the hypers are a great, great, great option. And I mean, Hyper, I mean, what? He was the TQ on um, both tracks at Champs this year, won the Freedom Spec Championships. He's a top pilot, so if you want to follow after his footsteps, this is what he runs and loves. But uh, now we're going to hop to Min Chan Kim and see what he likes. All right, last but not least, we're going to look at the Min Chan MCK editions. Um, these that I'm opening right now are the red ones. Uh, at the time you're watching this video, we do have red and blue in stock. The red is kind of like a special edition, so I'll show you both. Um, let's see here. I'll put, I'll put red on the left and blue on the right. How about that? So the MCKs were designed specifically for the pilot that you all know and love, Min Chan Kim. Absolutely. I mean, I think he's a two time, uh, MVP pilot for DCL and, uh, just known to be a prodigy. Some call him FPV Jesus. Like he really is the best. And, uh, we're so lucky at 533 to be able to work with him. And this is a stick end that he wanted exactly, we tailored it exactly to what he asked for. So he wanted a, uh, I guess, thinner um, stick end, more similar to a common stick end that you've seen before, but he wanted those spikes on the top and he wanted the grips on the sides. So it's like a, a cylinder um, and you have these spikes on the top that might you might be able to see, might not be able to see, but of course I'll put up pictures up here. But the idea is he's like, he's like a hybrid pincher and you put your thumb on the top and then very close by, you can have that pointer finger. And it's a great way that your pointer finger is not slipping because it has those little grips and your thumb on top also isn't slipping because it has those spikes on top. So he really loves this stick. And this, uh, I'll be 100% honest with you, is what I have been using recently. Really loving it. Um, as I did say, my thumbs are a little beat up, but I mean, calluses will come on, it'll be fine. But as far as grip, comfortability, that's definitely not a word, how comfortable it is, you cannot go wrong with these. I really have gotten comfortable with them. They have that uh, stick in feel that's a lot, or it's very similar to what we've used uh, so much in the past, um, but also have that grip. They're a little bit bigger than usual. And um, yeah, no, I, I can't go wrong with them. So I've used just about every single one of these aside from the thumbers. Um, and I kind of hop around between whatever I'm feeling. Right now I'm on MCKs. The nice thing about the way these are produced is that we can have really cheap prototyping so uh, and we can make them really fast, really easy. So if you have an idea for a stick that you think would be awesome, shoot us a message, shoot us an email, message us our support, whatever you want to do, we can make it happen if we think it's a good idea. And the community is full of good ideas. So never be afraid to shoot us an email or any, any sort of message and we'll make it happen. But this was just a quick review to so you can see the, all of the ripsticks and their pros and cons and everything like that. I hope you enjoy this. If you want more of these, please let me know. I need to get back on it and do more videos. I'm gonna work on that. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Evan Turner and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.